Hello, students, and welcome to the Health Science Program of Sargent College at Boston University. I want to be one of the first to congratulate you on your acceptance. I'm Professor Bria Dunham. I am the Program Director of the Health Science Program, which is our undergraduate major focused on global health, and I'm also a faculty member in the program. And over the next 10 minutes or so, I'll take you on a bit of a journey through the program to let you know a bit more about what you can expect uh, in the program here at EU. So some courses in the health science program that you would take are an introduction to critical inquiry, which really allows you to get a better understanding of how to evaluate sources of information in public health and the health sciences. An introduction to global health, which is actually one of the courses I teach myself, um, and is a very timely topic, of course, at the moment, um, that really aims to give you a broad-based understanding of some of the challenges that we face in our globalized world and the different systems and approaches to address them. We have a global environmental health course that helps you understand better the ecological determinants of health, an organization and delivery of the U.S. healthcare system um, to really engage in health policy and how this is um, lived in individual lives as well as on a system level, epidemiology, which is going to address how we measure and evaluate and uh, explore and discover things in public health, qualitative research strategy, which is going to bring another dimension to your understanding of how public health research gets done, the health science practicum in which you would get a structured supervised internship experience and your choice of a senior seminar and a number of different topic areas within global health. We also have a few new elective options that many students are interested in choosing between as well. So some current senior seminar topics that we have are in the social determinants of health, gender and health care, emerging infectious diseases, non-communicable disease, comparative health systems, and so forth. But the question I always get at these types of meetings is whether you can be pre-med in the health science program, to which my answer is, of course you can. Uh, or you could be, if you're interested, uh, pre-PA or pre-PT or pre-MP. The health science major is explicitly a flexible major with optional pathways for students to complete prerequisites for a number of potential graduate clinical training programs. There's also, in addition to the strong faculty advising that we have in the program to support students that are combining the major with prerequisites for any clinical program, additional support through the pre-professional advising office for students that have a clinical graduate program at their next destination in mind. So some highlights of the health science program are our explicit focus on global public health, our strong advising model, the opportunities that the program helped to cultivate through our international service learning programs at Sargent, as well as our strong relationships with study abroad, the experiential learning that students get through the practicum, and our collaboration with the School of Public Health in the five-year BS MPH dual degree program. Our focus as a program is global. We have faculty expertise in the Americas, Africa, and Asia, and we have an explicitly global focus in our coursework from the beginning of the program to the end. That says it's not an international health class. Um, the courses and the curriculum as a whole really look at health issues that transcend natural boundaries um, and that really reflect the reality of our globalized world. And so that does, of course, at times involve looking at the United States as the, uh, the focus of analysis. Um, we also cultivate opportunities for our program um, students across six continents through our relationship with study abroad and uh, service learning. Each of the students in the program is assigned a faculty advisor, such as myself, um, that they will meet with over the course of their four years of undergraduate study about course selection for the upcoming semester, but then also about their interest in graduate school or career opportunities or information about how to get in touch with different resource offices on campus. Um, and then we also have the Academic Services Center and a coordinator in the program office that can help support students in a number 
of those needs, which is part of what really gives our program a small college feel within a large research one institution. Um, we also have, as I mentioned before, that pre-professional advising office that students who are pre-med or otherwise planning uh, specific pathways to clinical or um, law school programs uh, often make use of during their time at BU. So the practicum is a central piece of the, the program. It's really a culminating experience where students uh, engage in a semester long experiential learning opportunity through an internship that is supervised both at the site um, by a um, professional or a clinician that's involved in that setting as well as by a faculty member at BU who's supervising the um, coursework side of the practicum. And the aim is for the practicum to reinforce skills that are learned through coursework in the experiential uh, opportunity. Students are working either in a professional healthcare or public health environment and complete a minimum of 120 hours on site. And we do have students that complete the practicum um, in study abroad programs in addition to students that completed in their senior year in Boston. So some current and recent practicum placement that students who have chosen to complete the practicum in Boston have um, been connected to are the Boston Public Health Commission, the Massachusetts General Hospital Health Systems and uh, Health Information System Department and Orthopedic Oncology Program, the Boston University Office of Environmental Health and Safety, uh, Disaster Management Program, uh, and the AIDS Action Committee. We also have service learning in Sargent, which consists of meaningful community engagement and opportunities for instruction and reflection. Trips for service learning are generally of one to three weeks in duration, and we have both domestic and international settings for the program. Last year, our international trips uh, were to Guatemala, Thailand, India, and Peru. I myself attended the Peru trip. And they're really amazing opportunities for students to get a hands-on, on-the-ground look at what different organizations are doing locally to support the needs of individuals in their communities and to, in a sustainable and respectful way, engage with those programs and support their mission. We also enjoy a close relationship with study abroad and study away. And there are four specific programs in which students can both complete their practicum and at least one other course that's required in the major. Those are in Geneva, Dublin, Accra, and Washington, D.C. In addition, there are several other programs that do not fulfill specific courses in the major beyond the practicum, but students can uh, fulfill their practicum on while taking some other perhaps elective courses. Um, Sydney, Auckland, and London are quite popular with our students for that option. And as I mentioned, we have a five-year Bachelor of Science and Master of Public Health dual degree program in which students are able to complete both degrees in five years of full-time study rather than the six years that that combination would generally require. There are four required MPH courses that are taken prior to graduation um, from Sargent with the baccalaureate degree and then students will matriculate for their plus one year at the School of Public Health. Students who are interested in this program can apply in sophomore spring or junior fall. Um, I am the Sergeant side advisor for that program, so I meet with students to talk about the admissions requirements, the application process, uh, what to expect with both the four foundations courses that they'll take while they're still an undergraduate that will count towards both degrees, um, as well as what to expect from their plus one year. So after graduation, students go on to a number of different destinations. Um, they go directly into the workforce in many cases in public health, healthcare and healthcare administration, social services, research, sometimes international development. And uh, they also in many cases go on to graduate study in public health or to a clinical graduate program such as medical school or PA school. Um, business, education, law, and so forth. 
nearly all, 99.7% of health science graduates are employed or have been accepted to a graduate program within six months of graduation, with over three quarters working in a public health or clinical field or completing graduate study at that time, and nearly half specifically have been accepted to a graduate program. So again, congratulations on your admission to Boston University. It's quite an accomplishment. I hope that the information that I've been able to give you virtually has helped you get a bit more insight into what the health science program is and what it can offer for you. And I very much hope that I will get the chance to meet with you in the fall.